One of the things that is very important for us is changing attitudes of the society to the issue of domestic violence towards women and children in changing this cultural thing that goes on with people since the beginning of patriarchy. We are all here for one purpose. We all need help. Usually we'll have here 12 women with children. Most of these women as kids was in a violent atmosphere. A woman here told me that when her husband first beat her, she said, okay, I know, this is how it's supposed to be. If they come from a violent home and the father was a dominant and very violent man, they accept and expect all men to be violent. But living in a shelter changes things. They go to a process of therapy. We have here a social worker for the women, for the children. And they stay here for six months, seven months, and they, we hope that they become stronger and stronger. They get a tremendous sense of a different lifestyle. First of all, they learn that you don't have to shout at them. Nobody has a right to beat them. The mothers, because the mothers become much calmer, they relate to the children very differently. They learn to bond with their children. We try to prepare them for the, the other stage after the shelter so they can be independent. I was afraid of my own cell. When I was I think I can do everything. To go work, my daughter, she's going to school, and my son, he's going to the kindergarten. It's normal. First, I was scared a lot, now not. I think that I was small because my husband said to me, you are like that, why you are like that? And for me, it was that I'm small. But my mind it's changed. I don't want that my daughters will uh, have the life that I have. My plans, it's just for good. When we came here, it was so difficult for my kids. They could not eat, they could not sleep, they were like angry, they just wanted to go back home. Sometimes it's not so easy to see your mother being beaten and being weak and uh, you know, you, you prefer to identify with the one who is stronger, and, uh, even though he's uh, violent. Children see violence as a form of life and they think that this is part of being male. And we can change that by teaching them different norms, different behavior. Trying to give them another solution. We're trying to cope with everything and to help women all along. And we're changing attitudes, but it's a very slow process. The state demand that we have new facilities or good facilities which will enable the women to live in a spacious condition and every woman would have her own room with her family. It's a difficult life to, to share a room with another woman. Now they don't help us financially towards the housing or towards the renovation of the buildings. So we have to find a way of building new buildings to help give the women a good life as long as they're living in the shelter and enable the children to have a better facility, a nicer facility. This is a very old and dilapidated building. There aren't enough toilets. The rooms are different sizes, so if you have a family of three or four children, you don't have the space. It's very, very difficult. They have rights. They have rights to live a proper life. This is a wonderful opportunity for me to be able to thank the JNF, the Jewish National Fund in Canada, helping us to assist women and children who are victims of domestic violence to get a lovely home. And I say thank you all for your heart that you open your hands and help and help people. Thank you.